An annual event is coming to a mailbox close to you this Saturday, and they need all the help they can get. Joining me in studio this morning with all the details is John Page and Brenda Ames. It's Letter Carriers Food Drive going on this Saturday. Very exciting event. And you were just telling me, John, that you guys collect thousands and thousands of pounds, like 25,000 pounds. Right. Just in this area. Right. Just in the Pocatello Chubbuck area. What a, what a wonderful cause going on this Saturday. People need to put their, yeah. their food out. Uh, let's first talk about some of the details of this van. Non-perishable foods, put it out of your mailbox. How does this work? Non-perishable, non-breakable non items. Okay. Uh, you can leave them in a bag by your mailbox or mail receptacle and we'll come along and pick it up or a volunteer. Okay. And just have it out there by your regular mail pickup time on Saturday? Usually, yeah. The sooner you leave it out, the better, actually, because we have, pe like I said, we have people helping us and they, they can come by and pick, uh, pick up the mail faster than we can. What a, what a wonderful cause, and it, it's a very worthwhile cause, especially at this time. We need a lot of help, uh, especially, you know, area agencies like yours, Brenda, with the Salvation Army. How is this going to help impact you guys? Absolutely. We look forward to this food drive every year. Um, this, this food drive is really important, not only to the Salvation Army, but a few other agencies in the community that will also receive some of this food. But um, I can say that over the past year, year and a half, we've seen at least a 30% increase in all of our program services. These are requests for services. Hmm. Probably a 50% increase in our new client base. These are people that have not had the need or, or haven't done it for a long time, uh, the need for our type of services. Yeah, definitely a worthwhile cause and a lot of need so. going on. What are some of the other area agencies? The food bank's another one that's going to be benefiting from this, right? Well, not, not this time. Okay. Uh, just mainly uh, Salvation Army, SICA, Aid for Friends, and St. Vincent de Paul's will be the main uh, recipients of this. Wonderful, wonderful. Some, definitely some worthwhile agencies and a lot of help needed. If people uh, want to help in addition to this food drive going on this Saturday, what else can they do to help you guys out, Brenda? Um, we, we can always use a lot of volunteers. Okay. Um, the, the collection site is going to be divided between uh, Salvation Army and SICA on that day. So the letter carriers will be going to both places and dropping off food, and we always need a lot of volunteers to sort that food and get it ready to go. Wonderful. Well, uh, if people want to help do that, they, how can they contact you? They can contact me at the Salvation Army at 232-5318. Wonderful. Well, Brenda and John, we appreciate you waking up with us this morning telling us about this worthwhile event going on this Saturday. Just set it out at your mailbox or your mail receptacle, and these wonderful volunteers will come and pick it up from you, and they'll be happy to spread it to those in need. Brandy, we'll